The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of Oklahoma City in the next 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. These meteors are large enough to cause big air blasts beyond impact. Air blasts and explosions from meteors can cause severe damage to weak structures, windows and vehicles that can result in serious injury or even death. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to any of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Oklahoma City Police Department. Massive damage has been reported in the city of Oklahoma City due to the meteor strike that impacted about five minutes ago. Travel is highly discouraged due to the road conditions, so it's highly recommended to not travel. However, if there is an emergency that you need to travel, do so at your own risk. All residents of the city of Oklahoma City are strongly advised to stay home for the rest of the day. If your home has been damaged or destroyed, a shelter is currently being set up at Paycom Center. Tune into local TV radio stations for more information on this situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Dallas Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of Dallas in the next 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. It is believed that these meteors are confirmed to be the same ones that struck Oklahoma City two hours ago. It has also been discovered that the cause of these meteor strikes are from two unknown comets that have entered the atmosphere. If you are away from home, do not return home. Stay in the building you are currently in. Air blasts and explosions from meteor strikes can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can result in serious injury or even death. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to any of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Dallas Police Department. Massive damage has been reported in the city of Dallas due to the meteor strike that impacted about five minutes ago. The damage is roughly similar to the damage in Oklahoma City. 
NASA has also reported that another wave of meteors are expected to hit the United States over the next few days and will impact the following cities, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Fort Worth, Denver, Colorado Springs, New Orleans, Kansas City, Omaha, and Wichita. All residents of these states previously mentioned are strongly advised to prepare for upcoming meteor showers that can strike in the next few hours. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the San Antonio Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of San Antonio in the next 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosions from meteor strikes can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can result in serious injury or even death. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to one of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Houston Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of Houston in the next 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosions from meteor strikes can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can result in serious injury or even death. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to any of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Austin Police Department. At approximately 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of Austin in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosion from meteor strikes can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can cause serious injury or even death. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are away from home 
Do not return home. Stay in the building you are currently in. If you are currently close to one of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fort Worth Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of Fort Worth in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosions can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can result in serious injury or even death. If you are away from home, do not return home. Stay in the building you are currently in. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently heading to one of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the New Orleans Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 9.15 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a meteor shower that is expected to strike the city of New Orleans in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosions from meteor strikes can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can cause serious injury or even death. If you are away from home, do not return home. Stay in the building that you are currently in. Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to one of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City, Omaha, and Wichita Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, NASA has detected a large wave of meteors that are expected to strike the cities of Kansas City, Omaha, and Wichita simultaneously in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Seek an underground shelter now. Find an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Place as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Air blasts and explosions from meteors can cause massive damage to weak structures, vehicles, and shatter windows that can result in serious injury or even death. If you are away from home, do not return home. Stay in the building you are currently in. 
Tornado shelters are also a safe option for shelter during this emergency. If you are currently close to one of these shelters, head to one now. Tune into local media outlets for more information whenever it becomes available. Immediate evacuation is advised. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 11 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, NASA has detected two large meteorites, both being roughly three-fourths of a mile in diameter, and are expected to hit the United States in the next hour. The impact sites of these meteorites have been confirmed to be Denver and Colorado Springs. The impact of these meteorites will result in catastrophic damage for all areas within a 50-mile radius of the impact sites, along with the city of Denver and Colorado Springs being completely obliterated on impact. The impact will also create a massive crater than be 10 miles wide in diameter. It is likely that massive fires and earthquakes will be expected beyond the impact. Due to this and the potential of being millions of casualties, all residents of Denver and Colorado Springs are strongly advised to evacuate the city immediately. Take essential supplies for your journey, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Tie a white collar towel to your door or mailbox to signal authorities that you have safely left the area. Do not use the towel if you need assistance. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the next pickup point. Follow specific evacuation routes set up by your local authorities. Shelters are being set up in the following cities, Phoenix, Tucson, Las Vegas, Albuquerque, and Salt Lake City. These shelters may be found on FEMA.gov. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. This is a mass casualty situation. If you do not evacuate, you will face certain death. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this catastrophic situation. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activations procedures in the EAS Operating Handbook for a National Level Emergency. The President of the United States or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. 
This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WLRN-FM, who will continue to serve the Miami area. If you are not in the Miami area, you should tune now into stations providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Miami area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone liner should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. At approximately 6.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, NASA has detected two asteroids, one being named 2023 SF-739, and the other named 2020 D-632, which both being one mile wide, and is heading for a direct collision course for Earth. The first asteroid is expected to impact approximately 300 miles off the coast of Long Beach, California, while the second asteroid will impact approximately 300 miles off the coast of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. These asteroids are expected to impact within the next three hours. However, these asteroids are not large enough to cause an extinction-level event, but will impact at a very high rate of speed and cause apocalyptic devastation to the west and east coasts. The following impacts will be expected, tidal and beach conditions will be uninhabitable, two massive mega tsunamis will race towards the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, and will impact the entire west coast of the United States, as well as Philippines and Vietnam, and the entire east coast of the United States, as well as Europe and Africa, at a high rate of speed. Areas within a 50-mile radius of the coastlines will be flooded, and all coastal areas will be wiped off the face of the Earth, and will sink into the Pacific Ocean. Due to this and the potential of being millions of casualties, all residents of the western and eastern seaboards are strongly advised to evacuate further inland immediately. You will not stand a chance of surviving this unsettling event until you evacuate from the coastline. Take essential supplies for your journey, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Tie a white collar towel to your door or mailbox to signal authorities that you have safely left the area. Do not use the towel if you need assistance. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the next pickup point. Do not pick up relatives from hospitals or nursing homes, as these facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is highly recommended that you have evacuated to the Midland United States. Shelters are being set up in the following states, Utah, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, Texas, and Oklahoma. These shelters may be found on FEMA.gov. Speed limits are also raised to 100 miles per hour, so you can escape from the coastline as fast as you can. However, contraflow is enacted on all highways in the warned area to be sure that traffic is moving fluently and efficient. The government is working on a plan to deflect these two asteroids away from the Earth to prevent an extensive mass loss of life. Tune into local radio stations for more information on this catastrophic situation. service, along with the Pacific and Atlantic Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami warning for the entire western east coast of the United States effective until further notice. The asteroids, 
2023 SF739, and 2020 D632 have hit the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. This has triggered two devastating mega tsunami, which is heading towards the United States west and east coast, and will impact all areas of the western and eastern seaboard as well as Canada, Hawaii, Alaska, Philippines, Vietnam, Europe and Africa at a higher rate of speed. These tsunamis are capable of causing apocalyptic devastation to the coast, and will make impact within the next one to two hours. The height of the tsunami in the Pacific Ocean is believed to be around 550 feet, and is moving at 125 miles per hour. The second tsunami in the Atlantic Ocean is taller, which the height being believed to be around 600 feet, and is traveling at 135 miles per hour. Anything within 50 miles into the coastline will be flooded, and areas near the coastline will be wiped off the face of the Earth and will be sunk into the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Due to this, all residents of the western and eastern seaboards are strongly advised to evacuate further inland immediately. You will not stand a chance of surviving this unsettling event until you evacuate from the coastline. Take essential supplies for your journey, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a battery powered or hand cranked radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Tie a white colored towel to your door or mailbox to signal authorities that you have safely left the area. Do not use the towel if you need assistance. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the next pickup point. Do not pick up relatives from hospitals or nursing homes, as these facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is highly recommended that you have evacuate to the mid United States. Evacuate now, I repeat, evacuate now. If you don't, you will face certain death. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this catastrophic situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Pacific and Atlantic Tsunami Warning Center, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Apocalyptic devastation as a result from two massive mega tsunamis that struck the west and east coast of the United States due to two one-mile-wide asteroids that slammed into the oceans have been reported. It has been confirmed that there are no buildings, vehicles, trees, and people left in cities near the coastline. All there is, is just massive flood waters lying all around. Approximately 70% of the west and east coast population evacuated before the two gargantuan mega tsunamis made impact. It is likely that the other 30% are either dead, injured, or missing. Do not return home, I repeat, do not return home. There is absolutely no home to return to, and crews have to complete surveys on the damage cost and clean up the debris. The United States government, the Pacific and Atlantic Tsunami Warning Center, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration would like to thank you for your cooperation during this unsettling event.